Hi, this is Terry Gray from Palomar College and today I'd like to talk about a feature of Word that a lot of people don't know uh, you can use and that is the search and replace uh, on formatting not search and replace words a lot of people know you can do that but a lot of people do not know that you can change formatting on words in a document using search and replace so here's how we'll do it I'd like to use the uh, navigation pane you can see I have Word up I have a document loaded. Uh, it was one I have taken from the National Institute of Health, non-copyrighted, so I can use it here. And it's text only. I have copied it from a PDF document as text only, removed all the formatting. Um, so right now there is no formatting in it. Now on the Home tab, where I am in Word now, I could use the Replace command here uh, to do what I'm about to do, but I like the one on the View tab in the navigation pane and you can see I have to turn on my navigation pane by clicking it here on the view tab I have found this feature so useful that I've added it to my quick access toolbar up here but if you don't have it on your quick access toolbar go ahead and click the navigation pane turn it on and there's a little drop down indicator at the end of the search box the new navigation pane is a, a marvel in Word 2010 but that's another topic uh, so I'm going to click the drop down here and choose replace and this is really a short terminology for find and replace we have the find a single term find something and replace it with something else or the go to feature all on the same dialog box I'm on the replace tab now and in this document it has to do with malaria uh, I have used uh, various Latin terms uh, plasmodium the name of the uh, malaria parasite and then Plasmodium vivax, malariae, falciparum, various species and I would like to uh, change those to italics. Uh, I've discovered that in my, my teacher has told me that I have to use italics whenever I use a Latin species name. So uh, first of all I'm going to search for Plasmodium replace it with and here I'll just copy what I put here and replace it with the same term but click the more button don't need to match, match cases here but click the format button choose font and then choose italic and click OK and now uh, look, under the replace area uh, where it says format colon we see font italic so we're going to re we're going to replace every instance of plasmodium with the same word plasmodium only italicized and let's go ahead and replace all in this document and we get a dialog that says word has completed its search and has made 16 replacements great okay now if I were to just go back and find plasmodium I could find the next instance and sure enough there it is in italics and find the next instance and it is also italicized it was not before I did that operation okay now uh, in many instances in this document uh, I have used the abbreviation for plasmodium just a capital P with a period so I want to make those all italicized too let's do this same operation click the drop down replace P period with P period and our selection is still made if you'll notice replace it with italicized we have to be careful though because we don't want uh, P at the end of words with a period after them like the word help to become capitalized and italicized <laughs> so let's match the case now and let's go ahead and replace all 20 replacements were made very good and uh, when I get this question do you want to continue searching at the beginning it means the replacements were made from the point of where the insertion point in the document was to the end of the document now if I want to go back to the very top of the document and search down to where that insertion point started I should answer yes so I indeed I want to answer yes there weren't any more but uh, that's the way that worked so I'm saying okay and now I'll go ahead and just close this dialog box 
And uh, now I would go through uh, to continue changing my document by uh, finding all the instances of VVAX, malaria, falciparum, and uh, the other uh, species of malaria, plasmodia. But uh, there's another thing I want to illustrate here in Word, and that is you can search on formatting too. You can not only change formatting, but search on it as well. Let's go back to that replace dialog and what we really want to do is find in this case and we're not even interested in a term we're interested in italicized words so let's go ahead and change our search criteria to find italicized words you see there and let's find the next instance and there it is plasmodium italicized find the next one and so on so we could go through our document like this, but uh, not only can you find terms and change their formatting, and it's not just formatting you can change. You can uh, change paragraph characteristics, tabs, anything you can change in these dialog boxes for language, frame, style, highlights. You can change with the replace mechanism in Word. This can be very useful in helping you solve formatting problems in large documents. Thanks for listening.